In this question, we have got this uh, wedge of mass capital M on top of which we place a block of mass small m. There is no friction anywhere and the whole system is released on the table, horizontal frictionless table. So what is the acceleration of capital M and small m? One thing is clear, pressed by the weight of small m, capital M has only one way to go left. So it will be accelerated towards left acceleration of capital M is towards left, is left words. That is clear. Now let us call the acceleration of uh, chota M as A dash. So uh, <clears throat> what are the forces acting on chota M? Following forces are acting. One is normal reaction acting this way. The other is mg and a dash is its acceleration. So let us write Newton's second law in vector form. So we have got f is equal to ma that is the statement of Newton's second law. f is the net force acting. So net force acting in vector form would be written like this n plus mg is equal to mass into acceleration we said we will call it as a dash vector. So that is Newton's second law applied to chota m. Now calling a unit vector in that direction in the direction of n as j cap and one along the incline of the wedge as i cap, we can write this in the following manner n uh, minus mg cos theta j cap plus mg sin theta i cap and the right hand side stays like it was m into a dash vector. Here in this step all I have done is resolve this force, the gravity's force mg into two components, one this way mg cos theta and one this way mg sin theta, right? mg sin theta and mg cos theta. So this mg is gone and it leaves two forces in its place mg sin theta i cap and minus mg cos theta j cap which have appeared in the next step. Now it is clear from this last equation that m into a dash square is equal to mg sin theta is a square plus n minus mg cos theta is a square. Correct? From the previous step, we can conclude this, which means that whenever n would be less than mg cos theta, this will leave some value which will get added to this and so acceleration a dash would be greater than g sin theta. Oh, the least value of a dash will be will occur when n is equal to mg cos theta and the second term on the RHS will become 0. In that case the value of a dash will be equal to g sin theta. That is the least value but whenever n would be you know less than mg cos theta which is what is the case here I will explain why so a dash would be greater than mg sin theta. So acceleration of uh, block m would be greater than mg sin theta and uh, acceleration of capital M is towards left and so uh, Option 3, acceleration of m is greater than g sin theta and that of m is to the left. So option 3 is the answer and now the only one thing that needs to be understood is why the normal reaction here, this normal reaction would be less than mg cos theta. It would be less than mg cos theta because after all capital M udhar accelerate kar rahe, to is liye small m ko Kuch acceleration idhar karna hi padega in order to keep contact because jo bhi iska acceleration idhar hai uska component 
in this direction perpendicular to that that acceleration uski wajah se isko bhi idhar accelerate karna padega in order to keep contact and which means that the block is accelerated this way and which means n is less than mg cos theta otherwise uh, how the block is accelerating this way because if it doesn't accelerate this way how will it keep contact with the wedge which is moving away so that's it option 3 is the answer